Hi friends, today we're going to talk about my find of this year. This one is the scent called Amiri and it's from the house Arabian Oud. And uh, I just want to thank the perfume gods that I stumbled upon this particular uh, scent and this house in fact. Uh, prior to a couple of weeks back, I haven't even heard about this house. And then there was a post on the frag community, a person was uh, disposing of his uh, scents. And uh, this scent was posted along with another scent, uh, Sultani from uh, Arabian uh, Oud. And then I went and researched about the scent and uh, then it felt like a, a good buy and I picked it up. And I think it's my find of uh, 2023 in terms of perfume. Uh, what an amazing uh, scent, uh, quality and also uh, value for money. Okay, before we uh, jump into uh, the scent, just I do not have the full uh, box, the presentation box, but if you can go to the other reviews and see uh, the presentation itself is, you know, uh, fabulous. So I picked up this deal without the box. Uh, but if you look at the bottle, it's, you know, classy. Look at this. I think very uh, luxurious bottle. It's very uh, heavy. Could be uh, easily 750 grams or so, or maybe... Uh, uh, even more a superb uh, bottle uh, it's 75 ml and the cap is magnetic so it, it clicks makes a sweet uh, sound okay it's got the logo arabian uh, wood printed over here and uh, amiri is written so a beautiful uh, bottle feels uh, premium heavy and uh, uh, full marks for the uh, presentation before we uh, dive into the scent uh, just looking at the notes, this fragrance was released in 2022. I should have picked this up in 2022, a little bit late, but still not too late. The perfumer behind this is Miroslav Petko. Amazing uh, job, Mr. Miroslav, if you're hearing this. Absolute beauty you created. And coming to the notes, in the top notes, there's tangerine, there's bergamot and pink pepper. In the middle notes, there's cedar, patchouli and nutmeg. And in the base notes, you have musk, amber, vanilla, and sandalwood. So, uh, a good combination of uh, notes. Uh, going by it, you feel that it's going to be uh, mass appealing, right? By the citruses in the start, and the vanilla and the and the and the musk in the base, and it doesn't uh, disappoint. Let's have a spray first to see how it uh, feels. It's an amazing scent. Okay. A sprayer is uh, decent. I would have wished for it to spray a little bit uh, more, but still it's uh, very good. And right in the start, you get that tangerine, that orange kind of uh, note, which is, which is there, just very, very uh, uh, prominent right in the start. A very citrus opening. There is pink pepper that you can uh, feel, but the tangerine is very, very uh, prominent in the opening. Now, one of uh, the fragrances that this reminds me of after, you know, five or ten minutes is it reminds me of uh, a Bulgari Tiger. That's got grapefruit in the opening. But to my nose, uh, the opening of this and Bulgari uh, Tiger, they smell uh, very, very uh, similar. Uh, and, you know, after some time what happens is the, the spiciness somehow comes in. But the beauty of the scent is that the spiciness is not too overpowering. You get a combination of, you know, something green, something, you know, peppery, something woody. All of them are balanced together and they form a particular smell. Now that smell, it's very hard for me to <laughs> describe. So all I can say is that it smells uh, a little bit smoky, musky, woody, uh, green and also spicy. But all the combination of all these notes is not overpowering the, the hero note, which is the tangerine note. So, yeah, very similar to uh, Tiger and also Bergamot uh, 22 by, by Le Labo, if you know that scent. But I get a lot of Bulgari uh, Tiger from this. Similar, but it's different because this one has got the, those nuances of the spiciness and the woodiness and the, the the green notes also so this is more nuanced than bulgari tiger tiger has got just uh, grapefruit and ambroxan now after some time what happens is i think in the dry down 
it becomes more and more uh, uh, complex. The tangerine note is still there through, uh, throughout uh, the journey. But along with those nuances that I mentioned earlier, you start getting a slight vanillic uh, hint. It's not overpowering. It's there and slightly there in the background. If you really put your nose to it, you can definitely uh, pick up that uh, uh, vanilla note and that musk which is there. It's not an offensive musk. It's a very uh, pleasing musk. And all of this, you know, notes are in harmony. So uh, when it comes to composition, I would say uh, brilliant uh, composition. I don't know how I uh, miss this particular fragrance for so long. It's uh, fresh, uh, but it's not, uh, I would say, very generic because of this complexity and the nuances. There is some character to that freshness that you get from this particular scent. Now there's another scent along with this. It's called uh, Sultani and it's also from uh, Arabian Wood. So I'll just briefly touch about this. I'll talk about this you know, in detail in another review. So a lot of people say that you know, these two scents are uh, uh, similar and it would be redundant to buy you know, both bottles. I uh, respectfully uh, want to uh, disagree there. Uh, they are similar in the sense that they have the same uh, DNA. Uh, like if you take a house like Ortho Parisi, there's Ortho Parisi, Boconara, Terroni and Sturkus, they all smell, you know, similar, similar because, you know, Ortho Parisi has got a DNA of its own. The house has got a DNA, but each of those scents are different. It's in the same manner, uh, the, there's a DNA similarity between uh, these two uh, scents. I think that's the DNA of the house, which is there. But this one is much, much different than this. Uh, this one, there is a little bit of uh, rose in this. It, then afterwards, sometimes it starts getting powdery, uh, creamy, and it takes a different uh, direction. So though the DNA is uh, the same uh, or similar of the house, but each scent profile is different. And personally, I do not find it redundant to own uh, uh, two bottles. I think it's worth it to you know invest in both the bottles if you're a fan of this kind of profile. Now coming to the performance of this particular scent, the performance of this scent is almost beast mode. It's not beast in your face mode, but it's reaching there. Initially when I sprayed this scent, I was a little bit disappointed because it didn't push out uh, too much, but I was wrong because then I wore it to office. I've been testing it over the last week, been spraying it in the morning and testing the performance. Though initially you feel that it's not pushing out a lot, trust me, it is uh, pushing out. Constantly during the day, you're reminded of the presence of this particular perfume. Whenever you move around, whenever you're going in the elevator, you're stepping into the car, you get reminded of this perfume. So it's definitely there, it's pushing around. And uh, I would say the projection is around two to three feet in the first uh, uh, couple of hours or even uh, three hours. And then it maintains a bubble of you know one to two feet, which lasts for around six, seven hours. That's what I feel. And why do I say, uh, uh, two to three feet. Uh, last week when I wore this, one of my friends uh, picked it up. She was standing, I think, around uh, three feet away and she asked me, uh, uh, what scent are you wearing? So she could pick it up from that. It, it carries in the in the wind. So projection is good. Uh, the Another instance is that when uh, I was working out in the gym, another person came and said I could smell you, you know, all the way uh, through when coming. And uh, this has happened to me only with Savage Elixir, where the trail was there. So this is a second perfume where someone commented that, you know, uh, I could smell your trail from, you know, quite some uh, a distance away. Therefore, initially, if you feel that it's not uh, projecting, just give it some time, wear it through the day, test it out. I'm sure that you'll uh, your impressions will change. You will get whiffs and wafts of this as you move around and you will know about its power. No, it's not a beast mode. It's not going to be in your face, but its its presence is definitely there. And, you know, people around you can uh, notice it. Now, when it comes to longevity, on clothes, I get more than uh, 24 hours. I can even pick it up the next day. On skin, it lasts for around six hours on my skin. And for four hours, it's pushing from the skin, but it's definitely there. I think it lasts you an entire office day. Now, occasions to wear... This one is a very uh, classy scent, though it's uh, common DNA, citruses, then there's vanilla and or some greens. But the way this has been done is very, very uh, beautiful. And since it's not a beast in your face uh, kind of a perfume, this will make a perfect, you know, office scent uh, for you. 
uh, it's going to be very uh, pleasant it's not going to invade anybody's uh, uh, space and even if it invades the the smell is so pleasant that you know people will only enjoy this kind of uh, scent so perfect office scent uh, i would say and also i feel that you know uh, this scent would perform very well in summer now i'm here in bangalore india it's been raining for the last two weeks i haven't seen the sun but i have a gut feeling that you know once this fragrance is exposed to heat and sun it's going to push off or radiate even more haven't got the chance to uh, test that out uh, but still i feel that it's going to uh, be that particular scent now uh, occasions to wear like i said formal events you can even wear casually if you're dressed you know smart and your dress code and this scent will go hand in hand together and elevate each other up and occasions i covered uh, seasons it is an all rounder you can wear it throughout the year but like i said earlier i feel it will perform better uh, during uh, summer now uh, is this a blind buy i would say uh, if you get it in a deal like how, how i got it i got it for around 9000 rupees because it was uh, a resale 9 or 9500 rupees which is close to 110 or 115 dollars then it's a value for money uh, deal uh, it's almost uh, it's a full bottle so uh, then it's value for money definitely it's a blind buy this can be an intermediate re between your bulgari or tiger which is you know priced even higher and you know something like an afnan turati which is a good clone but this one is not a clone but some somewhere in the middle with that kind of a scent profile that tangerine the fresh scent profile but i feel this one is more more nuanced it's a better composition then you know uh, tiger and also uh, turati blue the compliments definitely it's got the profile uh, if people are in the mood to uh, socialize and to open up they will uh, give you compliments so definitely compliment factor is uh, very high so now do let me know what you think about uh, this house has anybody uh, tried this what are the other fragrances that you uh, like from this house drop in a comment and please like and subscribe i'll see you again in the next video bye